is up YouTube, it's Rainbow Cloud here, and I just wanted to talk to you about something weird that just recently happened. Now, I'm not actually using the mouse at the moment, and the reason is, I don't know where my mouse went. And I know you might, you might, first thing you might probably be thinking, or oh, maybe you just misplaced it, or I don't know, that kind of thing. But believe me, I've looked high and low, and I cannot find it. And I know exactly where I placed it, because it always stays right here on the mouse mat. Which, that is like where, the place where it always stays. How for the weird thing is, is it's not there now. And like I, say, like, like I said earlier, I looked high and low, couldn't find it, and I don't know what's happened to it where it's gone. I mean from where I've read up um well, let me just load up something here. So here the possible I've looked up um what it could possibly be. So um I had a look on this website here it's called thoughtco.com and um basically they've got an article called Understanding the Disappearing Objects Phenomena and um, on here, as you can see, and on here, they have basically everything to do with the DLP, or Disappearing Object Phenomenon. And um, basically, they got ab things like about absent miners, and the borrower, as well as other possibilities of why you know, other explanations why, say, certain objects go missing sometimes, like, for instance, poltergeist, obviously, and, um, temporary invisibility, and as well as, of course, dimensional shift, which is kind of a rather, um, it is kind of rather, in some, in many ways, an impossible an impossibility, but you know, at the same time, it's still possible. So, um, yeah, just personally, I don't know what to do at the moment. So, the other, the other thing I looked up is um, recently, whenever I've been at home, I've been getting like these headaches all the time, and at first, you know, I thought oh, maybe it's just normal, yeah. But I kind of started to, you know, kind of think to myself, maybe this isn't normal. Maybe, you know, something, some kind of fix some explanation for it. So I looked up all kinds of articles to do with headaches, all kinds of things on Google, basically. But this one in particular, I thought, could be a possibility, because the thing is, I've been getting a I mentioned earlier, I've been getting headaches at home, like nowhere else. Like, I'd go out and, you know, my head would be feeling fine. I wouldn't even have a headache, you know. <laughs> Probably except for when I'm listening to uh, music cloud, but, you know, that's kind of, you kind of expect to get headaches when you're listening to music on full blast after all through your headphones. So, yeah, but it's just when I've been at home, I've been getting headaches all the time, and. It says here on um, mydailynews.com, headaches can also be a sign of a, of a curse or negative energy. Pay particular attention to headaches that constantly affect you when you have spent time in one particular place. Now, the way I see it, I think, I think you know, they could be right there. I think, you know, because I've been spending a lot of time at home, I think there could be some kind of negative energy that's, you know, sort of causing it. So, yeah, that's all I have to say anyway for, for now. So, what do you guys think, you know? Do you think, do you think there's something weird going on? You know, or is it just, can it be rationally explained? You know, so... I'll leave that up to you guys to decide what the cause could be for the disappearances plus the headaches, obviously. And um, yeah, that's all I have to say.